Donald Trump, Joe Biden. These are the supposed candidates for the next U.S. election. And I have talked in great detail in the past few months about how messed up the astrology is for both Biden and Trump going into 2024, and it's all blowing up. So, you ready to unpack this? Let's do it. My name is Lydia Nitya. This is Karma Chameleon. And on the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology channel, I often like to read the charts of famous people to better understand our own lives, our own charts, our own relationships. So welcome. If this speaks to you, please subscribe, follow, and all the good things so you don't miss a single video. Lots is happening in the world and we are trying to keep up as best we can. I also want to say, if you are interested in your own Bazi Chinese astrology reading, it is such an interesting dive into your life. Okay? Like, for instance, I feel like I know Joe Biden and Donald Trump better than they know themselves. Um, I have looked at these charts for years now and followed the journey of their astrology. And see, that's the thing. You know, with all the comments that I get from you all, which I love 90%, 99% of them, um, you have to understand that when I'm doing, whether I'm talking about Whitney Houston or, you know, Sue Green or whatever down the street, they're all the same. It's just an astrology. And each one, you know, is a divine life on this earth that comes in with its own karma and its own journey. And the astrology gives us the ability to unpack it in a way that creates this narrative that is full of teachable moments and, and things to understand. Sometimes I can look at a chart and say, oh my gosh, this mother-daughter relationship must have been so hard. I don't know these people, but 99.9% .9 of all my chart readings are shockingly accurate. Not because of anything I did. It's just that I pull all the information together in a way that illuminates it. And I throw in a huge amount of my own in intuitive voice, okay? And recognize that a lot of things sometimes come channeled through. I often say that sometimes I know things without knowing them, if that makes sense. So the thing with Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and I'm gonna reference the video that I did earlier, a few months ago about the US election because this is really problematic. Marianne Williamson has already dropped out. She had an afflicted chart this year as well. Um, my memory serves me correctly. I think she's born on the day of the dragon. Um, this dragon year is shaking things up. And I've also talked in previous videos about how cracks can, we can see these cracks, right? And cracks are like, they can be, um, let's say you're an afflicted luck cycle. You're in a period of your life in which you're vulnerable to fill in the blank, right? And then along comes a year that adds to that affliction or aggravates it in some way. Now we're in a crisis, whereas before it was manageable, right? And then you add in what is the feng shui of your home? right? And when you add that, that added layer, then you can see, oh, well, your home has beautiful feng shui. That is a great support. But what if your home, let's pick this year, the year of the dragon, let's say your home faces southeast, direction of the dragon. Or what if your home faces northwest, the direction of the dog, the enemy of the dragon? or that's your bedroom or your office and you cannot move. These are the rooms that you have to use. This is the only door into your home. And in addition to that, it's a difficult year for you. And in addition to that, you're in a difficult luck cycle. Now we have so many cracks that add 
bad day could be that awful car accident that changes your life. So this is what I'm talking about. And I did a couple shorts over the weekend when I saw the news about the New York civil trial and the outcome and the huge penalty against Donald Trump and his ability to do business in the state of New York, okay? And he has so many lawsuits going on. Some are big um, and all over the news and others are kind of like, like slight mentions here and there, but collectively this is like massive. If you look at the astrology of Donald Trump, and I remember when I went back to my teacher, Paul Yen, and got my master's in Bazi astrology, I remember going through his chart with, with Dr. Yen, and, and he was telling me how this chart is just forever going to be one in which lawsuits are a thing. Now, one of the, the pieces to Donald Trump's chart which is, interestingly enough, the same as Joe Biden, okay? Joe Biden is born on the day of a yin fire ox, and he is in a luck cycle of yin earth sheep. That's a lot of earth, okay? And the sheep and the ox butt heads, and so this is a real direct hit to his welfare. In addition to that, that's a big crack. And at this age, this is very problematic for him. There is a tremendous amount of output of his energy going on, and he is not a particularly strong person to begin with. Um, in addition to that, it's like so much of his energy is put into what he is, what his work is, um, which is the element of water. But in this particular scenario, because I'm mentioning Joe Biden because the Ukraine story coming out also on last Friday, the 16th of February, which I was telling you guys in my shorts that Friday, February 16th was a year of the dragon, day of the dog. This was an afflicted day. It was a challenging day for all of us here on planet Earth and specifically worse for anyone born on the day um, of the dog or dragon. And if there's a dog or dragon in your hour, this could really impact your career. Okay, so you've got this big crack in Joe Biden, Biden's chart with the ox and the sheep. You add to that, his hour is the dragon. This is the year of the dragon. It is a direct shakeup into his job. What is his work? And that being said, what this really made me realize is this year feels so electrified and such a game changer that I think what I'm gonna start doing for you guys is giving you best days or maybe just highlighting the worst days of the month, not just the flying stars, but which days are the most afflicted because this particular year feels different. Just let's leave it at different. Um, I think that uh, there's a lot of very, very big, powerful moving parts going on and we need to be paying attention. Um, so Joe Biden's chart, greatly afflicted. The energy of this year for him is not what I would call supportive. I think that this year is going to be one of change for him. And um, even though there's a lot of energy around government and around his work in the government and politics and all of that, 
I think there is going to ultimately be a, a shift in his career. And I'm very concerned, as I think most Americans are, that this is what they have delivered to us, are our candidates for this election. I'm very concerned because these two charts are such a hot mess. Now, Donald Trump, he also has this ox sheep affliction going on in his chart um, that moved out of that affliction in 2023. When in 2023? Because this is interesting. In November, 2023 and this is oh my god so the guy moves from that because trump is born the day of the sheep um which is the enemy of biden okay which is interesting right and so they've both been flip-flopped in a way so biden born on the day of the ox with the luck cycle of the sheep and Trump the day of the sheep with the luck cycle of the ox, okay? So they've both been really embattled. So last November, in the midst of this big lawsuit in New York, Trump moves into a new luck cycle of what? A Yang water tiger. Now, why is that interesting, you might ask? I'll tell you. So this forms a semi-penalty of the tiger and the snake in his hour. And what does that lead to? Lawsuits, mishaps, accidents, bad things happening. And all it's going to take is a monkey, right? So you add the monkey and you've got the full penalty. Now this gets rich because I've talked about every last bit of this in different ways. When Pluto, I know we're jumping to Western astrology for a moment. When Pluto backs up into Capricorn this fall, right around the time of the monkey month in August into like that, the first couple days, few days of September, all of that is dovetailing. This is like, it's a grand performance. That's what I'm really seeing. I am seeing that there is going to be a humongous shift with all of this legal stuff going on for Donald Trump and it is all gonna blow up for him in August. Watch for that, I'm not joking. And that is going to be part of the narrative of Pluto retrograding back into Capricorn this fall. And in addition, that the most inflamed month of this year is October, the month of the dog, the enemy of the dragon, that is when the shit's gonna hit the fan because what? What's gonna happen if one or both of these given candidates cannot actually run for president anymore? So that I think is where we have to look for the disruptors. Thank you, Nikki Haley for stand, sticking with this, that she hasn't backed out yet. Thank you to Bobby Kennedy Jr. for hanging on, even though the media refuses to cover him in the mainstream news. At least in my news, I don't know, maybe your news, you're seeing him. So um, this is where, like I was saying with the fractures and cracks, and this is why I felt the shorts weren't enough. I had to sit down this morning and really lay this out. It's important for us to know that these candidates are fragile. Not only are they old, they are fragile. And I think that um, there, is, there is a lot that is moving around. And even though 
Trump no longer has that direct hit to his day, day, what he does have is that shift from the full on attack to it now becoming legal. And I think these legal problems are going to continue to pursue him. And this year also for him speaks of shifts and changes and of loss of money. Wow, yeah. <laughs> like $355 million worth of uh, losing money, right? All right, so this is what I wanted to um, to share with you today. Um, and we will continue to touch stone, touch places, touching stone on this because I think that this is going to continue to roll out. And the other month to really look look at is the month of the dragon and the year of the dragon, which is April. And I think April is going to deliver more interesting news for us. So stick with me. This uh, presidential election is gonna be one hell of a ride, like nothing we've seen before. And we might already be feeling that, I don't know. But um, right now we're looking at two very not the best candidates I would have chosen for this country, regardless of party, uh, regardless of their beliefs, their affiliations, or any of it. Just their astrology, just a mess. That's all I can say. So anyway, onwards we go. And until next time, friends, be well.